Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'd like to attempt to answer the question, can the new Klein ET450 find an electrical line underneath concrete? So I have an electrical line here underneath concrete. It's about 12 inches under the concrete and it is in PVC conduit. It's in half inch PVC conduit. There's a black hot wire, a white neutral, and a green ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a single blade on the red lead from the transmitter. And I'm going to plug that into the hot terminal, that'd be the shorter terminal of the two, in a receptacle. The other end of the lead, which is about three feet long, gets plugged into the red terminal of the transmitter. And then I'm going to take the black lead, it's like 20 feet long, and I'm going to attach that with an alligator clip, with a black alligator clip. One end of this lead goes into the black terminal of the transmitter, and I'm going to attach the alligator clip to a cold water pipe. That'll be our ground. And then you got to look at the meter to see if you have 120 volts AC. It'll say on there, and if you do, then you're good to go. So you have your red hot lead in the form of a single blade plugged into the hot terminal of a receptacle and you have your ground hooked up to a cold water pipe. The manual says that you should put the grounding terminal onto the, the black line and plug it into the ground of another circuit. But the problem with doing that is it blows your GFCI receptacle. And the receptacles in this house are protected by GFCI, so that doesn't work. But I've gotten around that by using the alligator clip and hooking that to a cold water pipe. So we do read 120 volts AC on the transmitter, and it says it's transmitting, so we're ready to go. I'll turn on the receiver, and I will turn the sensitivity to level 4. It has eight levels of sensitivity. Unfortunately, the numbers for this test are going to be upside down. Now, my plan is to start outside of the cut area of the concrete. The cut area of the concrete is where the PVC line is 12 inches deep. And so I'm gonna start outside of that and see what kind of readings I get. And I'm going to slowly bring it into the area of the cut concrete. And we're going to see if there is increased signal strength. And that will mean that it is indeed sensing the electrical current that is underneath the concrete by a good 12 inches. I'm starting about 3 inches outside of the cut area at level 4 sensitivity. And the signal strength is 27. Now I'll slowly move it towards the cut area and we're at signal strength. 30, 31, 32, it is picking up signal strength, uh, 35, 37, pretty much in the middle of the cut area here at 42, okay, uh, 42, 43, 44, 41, 39, 40. So my observations here from this test are that I think that this tracer really is picking up the electrical line underneath the concrete. I suspect that the tracer has a bit of a time lag as far as picking up the signal because it is still picking up a fairly high signal even a couple inches beyond the cut. The highest reading was actually found towards the edge of the cut, not in the middle of the cut. Now the electrical line doesn't have to be in the middle of the cut. It could have been around where it's getting the highest reading, but Personally, I think it's a time lag because that signal has to go through all the concrete and sand and the PVC conduit and so forth. And that's my guess. I think there's a time lag involved here. So in conclusion, while I'm not going to recommend this tool for finding electrical wires underneath concrete, I think it's a good tool for confirming the existence of electrical wires underneath concrete. You know, there's a difference there. It's not a real heavy-duty tool for finding electrical, but if you have other indications, like I had these cuts in the concrete, if, if you have indications like that, 
you can confirm there's electrical wire down there and I suspect that you have to factor in a bit of a time lag to go through 12 inches of concrete and dirt and sand and PVC and then come back you know there's a little I suspect there's a little bit of a time lag so what do you guys think about this do you think it's really picking up an electrical line underneath the concrete or do you think I'm just imagining these things I mean it did go from a reading of 27 all the way to 44 so I think it's picking up some electrical current by the way the way I set up the wires this time is called the remote ground method. I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein ET450 advanced circuit tracer and I'll put a link for the magnetic hanging strap.